Hi, this is Bernard Miller, and in this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how I add RGB stars to my narrowband images. Now, I have this narrowband image here of the Pac-Man Nebula, and I also have some RGB data and a star mass. So that's basically what you're going to need to do this, this flow. You're going to need your finished narrowband image that has the narrowband stars, and then you're going to need an RGB image. And again, the RGB image, as you can see, the Pac-Man here looks pretty bad, but you're not really interested in the image itself. You're interested in the stars. And you just want to make sure that you have nice color in all of your stars. Um, if you want to, you can do process, all process, and what is it, saturation? Uh, where is that? It's, uh, uh, here it is. Color saturation, that's what it is. So you can always apply this to here and make, make it even more colorful. So we'll do that. But you just want to make sure that your RGB stars are nice and colorful, which they are here. And then you're going to need a... Um, star mask. Now I have another tutorial where I go over star masks and how to um, create those star masks and I'm not going to go over that here. Uh, you can create your own or you can review my tutorial of how I created this star mask. Um, I'm going to take away that color saturation. Um, so to start with you come over to the narrowband image and you come up to process all processes channel extraction and you want to click on this LAB mode and then uncheck A and B and then just drag this over to your narrowband image and it's going to churn and extract the luminance image from this picture and you just save that for later. Now the next thing you want to do is take your star mask and apply it to your narrowband image. And then finally, you'll come up to Process, All Processes, Pixel Math, click on your Expression Editor, and select your RGB image. So you can double click on RGB, click OK, and then we're going to apply this Pixel Math to the narrowband image. So we're replacing the narrowband image with the RGB image, but since there's a star mask, when I do this, you can see the stars changed, and it's debatable whether they changed for the better, because you can see they look kind of halo-ish and not very good. And that's why we extracted this luminance layer. And what we do there is, first of all, we remove the mask from the narrowband, and then we come over to Process, LRGB combination and we'll uncheck the R, the G, and the B and we'll click this icon and we will select that luminance image that we extracted earlier. Click OK and then apply this to the RGB image and it takes a little while but what you'll see is, if I toggle here, the stars went from looking not so good with those halos to looking pretty good. Um, I don't know... Well, let me... See, there's that, and that, and that, and that. Okay. So let me right-click this and load the History Explorer. Let me go back to the beginning and create a clone of this. And so here's the beginning picture. And here is the ending picture. And if I apply this by putting this over the this tab here, now they're both the same uh, they're both the the same field of view. And if I look at like the star right here, I don't know if it's shown up, but it looks a um, little magenta that's in there, 
Um, same thing with some of these other stars. This one's got quite a bit of magenta, but over here it looks more blue to me. So you can see that it did um, do a halfway decent job of taking some of these magenta stars and turning them more bluish. Yeah, the, these two in particular, right here and right here. So if I click on this and click on this, it's kind of the before and after. At this level, it doesn't make that much difference, but um, you'll find in here that you just get a lot more of your, you know, normal looking stars than if you look at the beginning picture. So if you look at this and this, I'm seeing a lot better color and a lot more variety of color than I do over here. So that is how I add RGB stars to my narrowband images. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this and found it useful. If you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.